it's Holly the Twister Sister and it's Tuesday so that means it's time for another Tutorial Tuesday! Alright so for this week I thought it would be fun to make a rocket ship. So this is kind of something fun and different and it's good for the boys. I do a lot of cute girly stuff and so sometimes it's a struggle to think oh, what kind of boy stuff should I do? Um, but this is a great option and it's pretty simple. So all you're going to need to make this balloon is a 321 or B body balloon. And you can get away with uh, just using one 160 balloon for the fins on our rocket ship. But you might need two just in case when you're practicing. Also I like to use two 260s as scraps. Um, and I do orange and yellow, but you could do any fire colored balloons. Okay, so to get started, we're going to take our 321, also known as a bee body balloon, and you can do this however you want. Uh, some people like to leave a little tip at the end, kind of like a, a needle on the rocket ship, or you could blow it up all the way from the end. So I'm actually going to do that, and to do that, I'm going to roll the balloon down on the nozzle of my pump as far as I can get it. So it's down here in the bottom. And then I'm, when I blow it, I'm going to slowly release the balloon with my fingers as I'm blowing it up to get the air all the way into the tip here. Otherwise, it's really hard to get the tip inflated. I'm trying to blow it. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to let a little bit of air out so that this is nice and soft. And you can see that the air is leaving the tip here because I let the air out, but since it's already been stretched out, it's going to be pretty easy to get it back up in there once we start twisting this. So go ahead and tie off your balloon. And you want it to be nice and squishy. Okay, so I'm going to put that down for a second. And I'm going to grab two scraps. I'm using orange and yellow for this. And I'm going to get some scissors here. This is just for appearance sake. But I'm going to cut off the ends of our balloon. So they kind of have like pointy ends. Because it's supposed to be fire. <laughs> and then I'm going to tie a knot here. Just tie these two together and put a knot right in the middle, like that. And if you want to do a double knot, you can do that too. I think I might do that just to make it a little bit easier on myself. The bigger the knot, the more you have to kind of hold on to. So there's our two balloons with a knot. Okay, so I'm going to take my 321 and I'm sorry it's white. I hope that you can see that. I didn't even think about this on the video, so I'll try to keep it in front of me so it doesn't disappear in my white background. <laughs> Whoops. Um, <laughs> take your fire. We're going to put our finger on the knot and then put our finger and knot on the nozzle of the 321. And you're going to stick your finger inside the balloon. And then you're going to grab those knots with your other hand here. <laughs> Get a good hold on them and pull your finger out and then twist the balloon. Okay, and don't let go or this is probably going to fly off. Um, the tension should hold it, but sometimes it doesn't. What I'm going to do, you can take a scrap piece of balloon and tie it around here to hold it. Um, I've got, you probably can't even see this, it's a clear, small little clear rubber band that you use for like doing hair. I just picked a bunch of these up at Walgreens. I'm going to actually use this clear rubber band to wrap around this to hold it until I get our 160s ready to go. So I'm just going to hold on to this, stretch it, and wrap it around there a couple times. All right. Now that's not going anywhere. doesn't look that symmetrical right now, but we're not going to worry about that at this point because it's time to grab a 160. So I'm using red for this and I'm just going to get my little 160 pumper upper here and start pumping. 
This one takes a while, but I need to get my air tanks refilled for the magic plate. So we've got the hand pumps today. All right, so I'm gonna blow this 160 up this much. So there's that much of a tail. Tie this off. And now let's see, I'm going to just go ahead and start here from the base. So take your 160 and wrap it around your apple twist. And that should help to secure your apple twist. And we're gonna come out about two inches. And do a twist. And then we're going to make a small bubble and make that a pinch twist. And then you're gonna take your balloon up and you're gonna kind of eyeball how big you want your fins on your rocket to be. And I kind of want mine to kind of go down like this and then up. So you've got like a little slant. So I want this part to be longer. And I'm gonna twist it right where I think I want it. So that's gonna work for me. And now we're just going to do another fin. So you wanna make sure your balloons are the same size. So come back down here, make a twist, and then we're gonna do another little baby pinch twist. And then a two inch bubble. And just twist that around our apple twist. So now our rocket ship has two fins. And you can see as we twisted it, the air went back up into the tip here, just like it's supposed to. And we're gonna do one more fin. So we're gonna do one more bubble here, a small bubble, and a pinch twist. And then we're gonna bring the rest of our balloon back up into the top and twist that together. And had a pinch twist come undone over here. Just retwist that. Okay, so now we've got our rocket ship with three fins and a tumor. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of the rest of this. Just tie that off and secure it by wrapping it around these balloons up here a few times just so it doesn't come undone. Okay, so that's basically it. <laughs> that is the rocket ship, pretty easy, right? And then to really set it off, I'm just gonna grab a marker and do a little bit of artwork on here. I'm just gonna put USA going up the side of this. And for some reason, I don't know why, but that really makes it look like a rocket ship when you write USA on there. If you're from a different country, feel free to put <laughs> something else on there, <laughs> but I think that makes it look more like a rocket ship. So that is it. How easy is that? It takes like two balloons. The fire is optional. Um, there's also different ways you can do the fire if this apple twist thing doesn't work for you so well. Uh, forget the apple twist and just use your red balloon as the base and put three pinch twists there at the bottom and you can twist the fire into the pinch twist and that works pretty much the same. So one thing that's cool about the rocket ship that you can do when you're done with it and everything is nice and secure is you can uh, loosely hold on to the base of your rocket ship with one hand, grab the fire with your other hand, pull the fire down and you kind of launch your rocket ship. So I think it's fun. <laughs> All right guys, so that's it for this tutorial Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I love reading all your feedback and suggestions and just nice things that you say sometimes. So thank you for that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I put out new videos every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday and other random times of the week when I feel like it. And as always, I love seeing your pictures and videos that you guys send me through the week of trying out my creations. So here's a couple of awesome pictures from last week's mouse video that we did. Thank you guys, you guys did awesome. You're really good at this. So 
Thanks for sharing your talents with me. I love seeing these things. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye! <laughs> I'm actually going to use that, stretch it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs>